I've had several people ask me, how do I make the Thomas Edison recipe for phonograph grease? If you are restoring an old phonograph uh, and taking the, the drums apart that the, uh, the springs are in and uh, re-lubricating it, you know, removing the old grease and adding new grease, you're going to need some of this grease if you haven't found an alternative already. But uh, this grease is actually quite good for that particular project, but it's also good for, let's say, if you're restoring an old record player and you just want to add some new grease to the to the rollers and pulleys and, and to the, you know, the, the shaft that turns the turntable, that sort of thing. Uh, it's really good for that. It's a really thick lubricant. It doesn't run. The difficulty seems to be is getting a hold of the right graphite powder. And those are your two ingredients. It's petroleum jelly, also known as Vaseline, and the graphite powder. Now, originally, when I made mine, I bought this can at a hardware store, and I made mine up, and I'll show you what it looks like there. It is a really, really black grease, is what it turns out to be. So that's what the product should look like once you are finished putting it together. Um, another place you might find the graphite powder is a place like a hobby store where they they have that Pinewood Derby kind of stuff where you put together those Pinewood Derby cars for uh, Boy Scout races and that sort of thing. Um, I found mine on Amazon from Loud Wolf Limited is the company that made this. This looks like somebody put this together in their garage. But uh, this is the graphite lubricant that I found at Lowe's in the key department in the hardware section there. This is not the right stuff. This would not dissolve and mix with the petroleum jelly. So it was not a good alternative. This was like 250 for this and this was about six bucks shipped for this particular part here. So um, the ratio for the recipe is 10 to 1. So um, 10 parts petroleum jelly one part graphite dry lubricant. So what you'll do is take your petroleum jelly here, and get you a nice clean spoon that you're not going to make mom or another woman in your life unhappy for using their good spoon because you don't want to use a spoon for anything else after that. Um, so we're going to scoop out a little bit and we'll just do like a teaspoon amount. We'll call that our 10, at least for this demonstration. So there's our 10 parts there. And then we are going to add our one part dry lubricant. So however you want to measure yours, I don't know how much of this you want to measure up to make your lubricant, but uh, we'll just say this is our one part here, just covering the bottom of the spoon and a little bit plus there. So you want to put it there on the on the Vaseline and then start up. Make sure all the powder mixes in well with the, the Vaseline. It'll turn a nice, beautiful black color. And then, of course, once you get it mixed together, you're going to need something to put it in so that you uh, have your own container. It is thick enough that it will have to be scooped out or dipped out if you happen to have you know, some popsicle sticks or if you want to use uh, you know, maybe a cotton swab to get that out of there. So there you go. This is exactly what it should look like when you're done. Do not eat it. I know you're smart enough not to do that, but you know. There are those people out there who might be saying, oh, he's making a delicious chocolate uh, icing or something. No, this is not something you want to eat. All right, so once you make your lubricant, then put it in a container such as something like this. Now you say, well, what in the world happened? Why can't you use this, this graphite powder here from Lowe's? It's really easy to get to. It's um, cheap. Well, let me show you what it does. So we're going to put um, 
since I've ruined my spoon already, I'll just go ahead and dip some of this out of here with my finger so we can get a little bit more to work with here. All right, so you put that there, you mix it with this stuff, comes out in a tube, and it looks like little silver flakes. That's what it looks like. Hopefully you can see that on your screen. Here, I'll move it up closer so you can see. See there, it's like a little, it's like silver, little silver flakes is what it looks like. And when you mix it together, it does not dissolve into the Vaseline. So look what you get. You get almost like glitter inside of Vaseline. So you want it to be powder or you want it to be flake. So you can see the difference there. So this is the stuff from Lowe's and this is the stuff we got off of Amazon. This is what you want it to look like. You don't want it to look like that. Okay, because that is not properly mixed. That is just mostly Vaseline with little tiny flecks of stuff in it. So make sure you get a powder or um, a flake material. Um, it, it is kind of staining stuff, so um, make sure you wash your hands after use. Or you may, in fact, want to use some rubber gloves as you're doing this. That way you don't get this stuff on your, on your fingers. So anyway, just remember it's a 10 to 1 ratio, and once you're done, you're going to get this lovely, nice black color here. In fact, it probably could be a little bit darker black, as the uh, as you can see here in my the stuff I've already mixed and had for a couple of years. And, uh, you know, keep it covered so it doesn't dry out. I don't even know if it would dry out, but just in case it dries out, keep it in a can or other container. So there you go. I hope this is helpful to you and helpful in your hobbies. And uh, it's been very effective. I restored my Columbia Graffinola using this actual stuff here by stuffing it into the, to the coiled spring inside of the phonograph. And uh, like I said, I've also used it in restoring some... Uh, uh, VCRs. I've used it to to lubricate the track where the where the little pins come up and pull the tape into the unit. I've used it to lubricate that and uh, and other assorted uh, hobby type items. So thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment. If you got a question, you can leave one of those below as well. And please subscribe. Did I already say that? I think I already did. Um, you can like it if you want. Like the video. Yeah, that's good. All right. Thank you. Have a good day.